Despite nearly a decade worth of data to prove skeptics wrong, there's an almost constant anti-electric car narrative among uninformed buyers and the mainstream media alike that states electric cars are a bad purchase decision because their battery packs will need to be replaced at great cost to the customer after just a few years of ownership. Despite that claim being completely false, most battery packs in modern electric cars last tens or even hundreds of thousands of miles before any noticeable drop in performance, and many electric cars keep their original battery pack for the life of the car, the price of an electric car battery pack has become something of a yardstick by which industry and analysts track the affordability of electric cars, the business case for building them, and most importantly, the rate at which electric car battery technology is evolving. To date, perhaps the most visible electric car battery pack price-wise is the Nissan LEAF, thanks to an ongoing battery replacement program offered by Nissan to existing customers, where owners can purchase a brand new battery pack for their car once the car's original battery pack has reached a level of capacity loss that severely impacts range and performance. To swap out the original 24 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack in a 2011 through 2014 Nissan Leaf, Nissan charges customers a flat fee of $5,500 US dollars, including installation and a $1,000 credit that's applied when Nissan takes back the original battery pack for reprocessing and recycling. But now there's a new known cost in the electric vehicle world, the brand new 2017 Chevrolet Bolt EV, whose 60 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack is substantially larger than the Nissan Leaf's battery pack, not to mention makes use of next generation lithium ion cells. And as our ever so curious friends over at Green Car Reports found out this week, when they reached out to General Motors to ask just how much the Bolt EV's battery pack cost, Replacing the Chevrolet Bolt EV long-range battery pack in the States would set an owner back $15,734.29. Helpfully, General Motors even gave Green Car Reports the official part number. But do some basic math, and it appears that the price per kilowatt hour of the Nissan Leaf's battery pack is far better value for money than the Chevrolet Bolt EV's battery pack more than $30 per kilowatt hour cheaper. But it's super important to note here that the two prices quoted are very different. In the case of the Nissan, the price quoted is the price that the customer pays, which includes that aforementioned $1,000 US discount for exchanging the old battery, and I'm guessing, a significant underwriting on Nissan's behalf to make sure that the battery pack is a reasonable price. The price quoted by Chevrolet for the Bolt EV's battery pack is not the actual cost that a customer would pay in an exchange situation, but rather the cost if someone wanted to buy uh, the battery pack outright with no exchange or installation. Given that General Motors only really wants the battery to be a dealer installed part, and then only something that's done in extreme situations, I'm guessing the price quoted doesn't take into account any exchange fees or underwriting from the company. In other words, it's a pretty tough comparison between the quoted price for the Bolt EV's battery pack and the service cost quoted by Nissan for a replacement Leaf battery pack. What's more, it's worth noting here that the battery replacements for electric vehicles are particularly particularly rare, with the majority of Nissan LEAF replacement battery packs to date taking place under warranty rather than out of customer pocket. Indeed, most people I know with LEAFs who have lessening capacity have taken the opportunity to upgrade their car and thus get a brand new battery pack too, rather than upgrade the battery pack in the older vehicle. GM points out too that unlike Nissan, which has found itself replacing battery packs of early Leafs with advanced aging caused by extreme weather and a lack of onboard liquid cooling, not a single Chevrolet Volt range extended EV of either generation to date has needed a replacement battery pack. With some of those Volts now in their sixth year of ownership and the same battery manufacturer for the Bolt, there's little status to suggest a Bolt EV customer will suffer major battery worries with their car for the foreseeable future. But just in case, GM does ship the Bolt EV with an eight-year, 100,000 mile, that's 160,000 kilometer warranty, on the electric vehicle drivetrain, which includes the motor, inverter, and battery pack. The takeaway? Replacing a Chevrolet Bolt EV battery pack on spec is a costly endeavor, and for now seems to be representative of more than 40% of the vehicle's overall sticker price. But while the headline price is extremely high, 
and I'm sure will cause some to claim that electric cars really aren't cost effective, it's doubtful that most Bolt EV owners will hit anywhere near 100,000 miles during the time they own the car, and if they do, the chances are it'll be at a point in the future where the cost of making replacement batteries has dramatically fallen. In short, if you're considering a new Chevrolet Bolt EV, or any new electric car for that matter, you really shouldn't worry about factoring in battery replacement costs anytime soon. If it's from a mainstream automaker and it's a mainstream EV, you can rest easy knowing that the car company has your back in the form of warranties. If you're buying an older used EV, well, then you might have to do some research. With some automakers more receptive and helpful when it comes to battery replacements, like Nissan, and others being more focused on profits rather than customer satisfaction, as our good friend Gavin Kiwi EV Shoebridge found out recently when trying to price up a battery pack for his Peugeot Ion in Europe. Nevertheless, it helps if you think of battery replacement on a similar time frame to an internal combustion engine replacement. It's something that may be required if the car is significantly old or high mileage, but for the rest of the time, you shouldn't worry about it. Do you worry about electric car battery replacement costs? Do you feel that automakers need to put more effort into making battery replacements cost effective? Or is it just so rare that you're not bothered? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos like this, why not support us through Patreon? I've left a link below and there's a clickable one at the end of this video. That's it. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow. And until then, keep evolving.